they will not allow you to go in you have to take three things with you updated appointment letter what does it mean so they were doing that mistake when they are verbalizing loudly listen to them hear to them very carefully hello guys assalamu alaikum this is dr faraz ahmed so in this video i am going to tell you people regarding the biometric process of the skilled worker visa health and care worker visa or the tier 2 visa so you know in this video i will tell you that how you can apply for the biometric of your family visa as well when i went there i applied because i was the main applicant and i had two dependents on me one was my wife and the second one was my daughter as well so uh, before going to the biometrics what you have to do you will take the biometric date and on the date of the biometric you should visit the biometric center that is vsf global center either in karachi islamabad lahore or the mirpur azad kashmir you should go there please keep in mind that go there at least at least 10 to 20 minutes before your given time for example if your time is 12:30 and if you are there at 11 o'clock they will not allow you to go in because there was a lot of rush a lot of people were there so they were not allowing the people to go inside they were just allowing those people whose appointment time on the appointment letter was just 10 minutes away okay so what i did we went there before going over there you have to take three things with you number 1 the passport of the applicant number 2 the appointment letter please keep in mind your appointment letter should be updated i will tell you shortly and number 3 is document checklist so passport definitely everyone has the passport number 2 is updated appointment letter what does it mean so basically this is your appointment letter when you will uh, you know fill your online application only this form of the appointment letter only this appointment letter will be there okay so in this letter your name will be there your reference number will be there and your appointment date and time would be there so here it is mentioned about the visa category this is skilled worker visa so only this form of the appointment letter will be there when you will fill the online application so when you will keep on uploading the online documents so when you will upload your documents so your appointment letter will keep on updating so here you can see that on the 8th of the january i uploaded this you know tuberculosis certificate okay so i uploaded keep on uploading these documents so you can see over here so these documents were uploaded on the 9th of the january on the 10th of january these documents were uploaded so in this way i keep on uploading these documents so you can see over here that your uh, you know appointment letter is updating with the passage of time when you are uploading the documents so you can see over here that on the uh, 12th of january i uploaded this accommodation document and on the 15th of the january i uploaded this cover letter so in this way this you know appointment letter is getting update with the passage of time when you are uploading these documents please bring that updated appointment letter and you have to bring the checklist of the document as well you can download this checklist when you will complete the process of the online application basically document checklist is four to five you know pages of the documents where your visa your uh, you know type of the services which you are getting for the visa and documents necessary for this application are mentioned so here you can see that this is a standard visa service i have gained and now we will move forward here you can see that this is skilled worker visa i have hidden the payment notification you can see total fee and the application date then applicants details are given over here i have hidden few details over here as well so when you will move down you can see over here the there are the some necessary documents which should be there because without these documents your application will not be entertained first of all the criminal record certificate uh, that mean police certificate we will tick over here yes we have a uh, uh, you know attached this certificate then passport or the travel documents of the applicant that is faraz ahmed that is me so we will tick in this box as well these boxes are for the official use so after ticking these boxes we will go down go down and go down so here we have to tick again in these boxes okay and after this we will mention our biometric date we will mention our name and then we will signature as well okay so this is what i was talking about the checklist 
so uh, suppose you have all these three things like passport you have the appointment letter you have the uh, document checklist you will go there before the 10 minutes of your given time they will allow you to go in first of all they will uh, you know properly search you and they will check you out and they will take everything uh, at their custody and you will go in along with your documents and the, your passport so when you will go in they will give you this type of the token number so you can see over here that this top, uh, token number is for the group registration and it is, it is written over here clearly that group registration of the three persons because i was there my wife and my daughter were there so we went there and we were waiting for our number so after almost 30 to 45 minutes of the wait they called our token number and we went over there uh, they checked our all the documents and after checking our all documents you know please keep in mind when they are checking your documents they are verbalizing loudly so so that you can hear all your details if there is any mistake you can correct them so what happened that they uploaded my details and my wife details and uh, he was uploading my daughter details uh, he you know uh, verbalized loudly my daughter name then uh, you know passport number then he verbalized tire four visa i said no man this is not tire four visa we are applying for skilled worker visa and this is tire two visa so they were doing that mistake actually i was listening very carefully and so i mentioned that this is tire two visa so when i told them that you are doing a mistake so they again updated all of my documents so please keep in mind when they are verbalizing loudly listen to them hear to them very carefully all right so after you know uploading and after uh, updating your all the details what they will do they will give you a file of your passport and your uh, checklist document then they will send you to the biometric room so when you will go at the biometric room first of all you have to do three things over there number one they will take your picture okay they will remove the glasses they remove the cap as well so after removing everything they will take your picture and then they will take your electronic sign so you will sign electronically and after this they will take your fingerprints all four fingers then four fingers of the left hand then both thumbs so after signature after picture and after the uh, fingerprints they will say doctor you can go now if you have some you know baby then there is no need for the you know signatures or the fingerprints they will just take a picture and that's enough for your baby so after this because i applied for the standard visa when i was filling the application it was written on the website that decision will be taken in 15 days when i asked the vsf global officers that uh, can you apply for my tickets or not they said no no doctor once you have your visa in your hand then please go for the booking of your tickets so let's see uh, i will update you as well that in how many days uh, i get the response from the uk for my visa let's meet in the next video thank you very much